guys, Crystal here, and we're back for more control. We got our levitation powers uh, last episode, and we found our brother gone. So we're on the hunt for him. But first, to deal with the stuff we had to leave behind because we didn't have levitation powers. So I think we'll do this one first, and then we'll do Langston's Runaways. Alrighty, so we're back. So obviously... <laughs> I can't go all the way up there from here, but I can probably go there to there. All right. <sighs> no, it worked this time. All right, we'll get it on the way out. Oh no. What the fuck is that? Making more clocks? How do I? <sighs> okay. Oh, I wait till it opens its stupid face. And I go for it. <sighs> oh, too far, too far, too far. Okay. This may take many, many deaths. I have this feeling. Oh no, I didn't have a landing! Ah! Okay, that was my fault. Alright. Open wide, jerk. Oh yeah. It's making more clocks. Come on. You know I'm here. Come on, Sparky. Open thy face. Okay, so theoretically I don't need to move. That makes me happier. Oh, but he moves. Okay. Funny. Okay, I'm learning. Now I'm learning about scary. Alright, so he's right behind us this time. We gotta wait. Okay. I missed, I missed my shot. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Alright, he didn't summon anybody this time. Oh, yep, there, he, there it goes. So he summons it when he opens his stupid face. This is okay. I got more than enough health up here. Okay, he's doing it faster now. Where's your friends? Come on. I almost have to take the attack from um, from the, the bad guys, from the the other dudes, in order to hit him. Yeah. 
Oh god. Shield, shield, shield. I don't have shield. I don't have shield. Oh, maybe the last shot. Nope, I gotta wait. Fuck. As long as he doesn't summon any more guys, we're good. I think I have it. Here he comes. Release it! We did it! Oh, thanks for delivery! It's not Delicio. That was dope. There. No one of the rangers had such a hard time with that one. Okay, let's go get some health from across the bar across the way. That was actually kind of neat. It gets a little chaotic toward the end there, though. And my reaction time leaves a lot of it to be desired. So. <laughs> Alright, where's that boxo? Are those... Alright, let's try... That box. Ah! Jesse, don't freak me out. Okay. There's two boxes over there. Greedy bitch position. over here nope all right so next quest oh boy so much missions i'm going this way now collectible case files there's a case file oh didn't i read this no this wasn't here before. It generates a black sphere. The purpose of which is currently unknown. Well. Cool. Alright. And... Drop. So... The Japanese lantern? Crap. We saw that. something we're gonna have to deal with which means buddy is something we're gonna have to deal with the doors open again well that's not fair <laughs> closed you. I know I did. Alright, let's try good old snipey-doo. Come on. Okay, he's nearby. There's those dudes too. According to plan. But he can't really get me in here either. Cool! I found a way to cheat this. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did 
Did I just whack the button? If I go out, I'm dead. Again. <laughs> okay, technically we still did find a way to cheese this. Okay. There he is. We got a little bit more health. I'm judging myself so hard for this. I hope y'all are judging me as well. Kidding. Please don't judge me. with things being smarter. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Bye, 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 bye. Now go home! Did I get him? Yay! Gosh, they hate that guy! <laughs> now, to deal with that lantern that we saw. I knew that wasn't there before. <sighs> Please don't attack me, Mr. Lantern. Oh, crap. <sighs> Looks like I need to hit that shield harder. <sighs> item up there. You're right. And done. That wasn't so bad. Don't say that. <sighs> Alright. Let's go. We got one. We gotta go get the other. Kicking all the clocks. Okay. We got three abilities. Is there anything we can spend three points on? Real quick. Shield strength. I want to do more of this. I feel like this might help. <laughs> okay. It's fast travel. Dicks. Yeah. 
Sorry about the sound. the altered item? Oh, I get it. I get it, I get it. Come on, come on, come on. Easy peasy. Alright, so that was weird. We're just gonna go. the hell? Ignoring you. All right, that was weird. So the screaming was because I was standing too close to the exit. Okay. So dead letters and the panopticon. The human hand chair. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from unsecured objects. Under no circumstances can the item be sat in. A plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms the seat and the fingers blah blah blah. The item affects the gravitational forces attracting and repelling objects. We saw that. Its fingers also have also been reserved to change position, though quickly witnessed too quickly to be filmed. The item can change forms rather than moving. Oh, so it goes like that, and it goes like this, and then it goes like this. <laughs> um, the item only displays these effects during full moons. Okay. I mean, to me, it looks like a statue of the Super Smash Brothers boss, but, you know. Oh, and the lantern. Right, right, right. Um, this item should be kept locked in a cell. The paper is red with an yeah we saw that attractive by both physical and psychological nearby objects gravitate toward it cool it do that doesn't seem that bad to me apparently it is I guess but you know right. gonna head back head to the dead letters Great. I just want to backtrack in peace. Where's the damn red thing? Like, I don't mean to sound so bitchy. I think I definitely want to use the word bitchy because I feel bitchy. This amount of backtracking just feels ridiculous. Ooh. 
Well, no, the, sorry. The backtracking itself is not ridiculous. The ridiculous part is how much excess extra fighting I got. Which I mean is like some people might enjoy. And inherently there's nothing wrong with that. And release the shield. And bring back the shield. That was a very shitty release point. alone like again some people want all the upgrades and all the shinies and everything like that and I might complete do a full completion maybe later I just want to experience the game and enjoy and you know without too much I don't know I feel like I'm gonna be preaching to the minority with everything I'm saying. It's just excessive. That's, That's my overall no point. normal piece of paper. All right. I see the paper. And instead of just jumping over the route. It's not going to be this easy. Okay. We need to know where it's going. was easy. I need to find the other pages. Other pages? There's more? Okay. Should be here in the in the office. I thought that was a page. I'm like, no, nope, never mind. <sighs> Up. Another TV? Is this the same thing as Just before? Just look at it. Yeah, okay. Eight inches wide and capable of storing That's the floppiness that I already got. Kilobytes. Where is... Oh wait, this is a room we never went through. Airplanes aren't real. I figured out how they do it. The window, the windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on a big track like a roller coaster, and moves through the gr un through underground tunnels. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the skies are the monsters. The government made earth trains to look like the monsters so they could lie to us better. Do not contact me. Okay. I guess. Uh 
Ah. There, there are stairs here somewhere, right? Wait, there are no stairs. Are there stairs? I mean, I don't need stairs because I'm badass, but... We'll do. Drop down here. And go up. Hee <laughs> Nifty. Okay. Okay. We need to know where it's gonna end up. It looks like it's gonna end up here. I think it's over there. Nope, right here. Awesome. There should be one more page. Hey, that's a hottie's thingy. Is a hottie nearby? Okay, I'm kind of digging how, now that I have new powers, I now have like new ways to explore the areas. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move like it's angry, but I keep apologizing and it won't stop. But I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it won't leave me alone. I don't know what it wants and I can't keep apologizing. Fo do you see it now too it told me everyone is here and i need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter it wants me to stay with stay with it with my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast but i keep going and I worry that they forgot about me so I need to writ you about this because I can't keep going but the cat will because of its eyes redacted okay let's keep exploring check this floor and then I'll jump up again I am a plaid suit and I wear a pinstripe world. Okay. Um, work with no play makes Jack. We're all working no play makes Jack a dull boy. That's what that reminded me of. I hear things. My little buddy. First, though, our whereabouts. You have questions, and the prophets have your answers. If you're truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days. This is why the Vatican is the sundial, and also simultaneously the keyhole. Another thing while I'm here is that if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to the brain cells. The sun plus the moon are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. There is cremated... After this is cremated, cemented. Why do I keep seeing extra R's? Um, in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts where you are. What? Okay, I need to know where it's going to end up. Up there. Yep. Give it. Done and done. Alright, let's 
let's just quickly explore the rest of this map and then we'll head back. Ooh, shield efficiency. Oh wait, that's another house memory. I think we can upgrade something. Possibly. Oh god. Richard Bow Bowker? Vivid dream. To the esteemed members of the Ameri American Psychiatric Council, I am writing you to inquire about significant dreams in the relations of one's mental health. I am aware that there are many books pertaining on the to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not naturally done, but I would would greatly appreciate your thoughts uh, on my condition. Ever since I was young, I had vivid dreams. Intensely vivid dreams, even. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand the dreams can be real sometimes, but these make me... These feel remarkably different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one, one or two a year. Last night I had one. A small, empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes. Because of this incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctors say I'm fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. That is a reference to Alan Wake, the city with the lake at its center that's Brightview Falls. Or Brightview. One of those. Editing me is now noted in that actual name of the town. But yeah, no, that's... Okay, so that's one Easter egg. That's pretty dope. Okay, let's get back down to uh, the exit and landed. Fast travel. Our last point, the Panopticon. Right. You know there's gonna be more. Hear them. Two, two bozos in one. Aha! Hello, friend. Bye, friend. See, that went better. It's fights like that, that you know, like. You're just jaunting through. I'm glad I walked past that. All right, you know, you're jaunting through, minding your own business. Okay, so I'm in the Panopticon. Where is, does it say where it'll be? Um, bleh. Where's just, yeah, it doesn't actually say. So I guess we're just gonna look around. Oh, there's a slight red glow. It's locked though. Let's have a good wander. Is that it? Green, red, or yellow, green. Yep, yeah, found it. That must be one of the missing alternate items. We're playing a game of red light, green light. How did I get back here? Alright, 
so yeah, we're playing. We gotta be playing Red Lake. What Green is Light. this thing's deal? Okay, let's just try this. Yeah, it's just the game Red Lake Green Light. Oh, I moved too soon. How is it doing that? It's an it's a magic item, honey. Calm down. Jump stop. Okay. Just like the real world. It's an asshole. <laughs> Am I gonna have to fight dudes? <gasps> oh no. Oh thank god. Damn, this is a move with the levitation. All right, we got this. <laughs> we all played this game when we were six, right? I mean, come on, school gym. You're mine. It's called the Let's Traffic Light and Asshole. Less escape elder item to worry about. All right. Traffic light. Three distinct lights arranged vertically. Popular children's game. Popular children's game. Hell yeah. We played it all the time. Yes. It was one of my absolute favorite games growing up. That and Red Rover because you could kill someone and it was fine. I mean, I'm kidding. Actually, Red Rover was banned back when I back when I was a kid. Like, I think I was in grade seven. No, probably grade five or six. Uh, the schools around the area banned Red Rover because people actually used it to hurt other people, and it was very sad. Anyway, <laughs> tangent acquired. Um, the item was discovered after a street light in the intersection intersection near an elementary school began shifting people away from itself after the sun set. Local panic brought the case to the attention of the bureau the item contained. The item was contained and a gas leak was blamed. Okay. Cool. Yay us. Alright. Let's return to Langdon. Hey Lang. Sudden stop hits theaters tonight. Kim I, I guess I could have listened to the empty items. dialogue, but... All of them? Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. Damn straight. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really, just super. We have three more. The mannequin, the flamingo, and the rubber duck. Oof. You're an ass. You know, I didn't want to talk to you last time, and I don't feel like talking to you this time. I'll see you later, Langston. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69. Get it? 69. I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity originating from cell 69. Sir. But you just said it. 
Come on, you guys, it's funny. Okay. <laughs> A sudden stop hits theaters. Sorry. That was just a- I had to take a moment of what the fuck. Alright. I guess we're doing Langdon's Runaways. Oops. So we go back to the threshold or the prime candidate program in containment and research. So we have two containment and one in research. In the ritual division means we gotta turn around. Go out this way. things. Okay. Let it get close to us. Now I can deal with that creepy thing. Where is the creepy thing? I don't like that. The mannequins are staring at me. There's a door over here. Oh! Cat! there. <sighs> I'm extra low. I just, those things remind me of clickers and they freak me out. That is why I was levitating like a total loser when I didn't have to. Staring at me. Disappearing ducks. Great.
There he is. Check and see if he went back. God. Oh, no, no, no. Probably not back this way. Probably not doing that again. All right, quackers. There you are. Come on, click him, click him, click him. <sighs> Finally, no more quacking. Yeah, that was, that was, see, I thought it was a dog barking the entire time last time we were down in this area. Um, make spontaneous quacking. <laughs> cardiac arrest. Um, one of the researchers kind of fell under cardiac arrest. That's awkward. Okay, so now we go back to containment. That's got to be an altered item. <sighs> okay, this is gonna make me wanna yak. This thing again. No. No, not the Cthulhu monster. You've got into another altered item. What does this thing want? Is it fighting the boar? Ah. Wow, which falls is like right there. At least the former oh god. Aren't that big of a deal now? Move some stuff around. You've got 
to another altered item. This is great. Is it fighting a bone? I never okay. did like flamingos. Too pink. Okay, real quick. I'm not ending the video. We still have one more man to get, to get to. But that was a lot more complicated than it had to be. I know part of it was because I kept hitting the wrong button and I was levitating. And this has a physics mechanic, it seems, where you get hit with something while you're levitating. You go further, which isn't great because I kept getting thrown off the damn map. I'm more than a little frustrated. I will openly admit. And, um, we're gonna go get that mannequin now. Oh, there's a box. Because we opened all the gates. found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints. Interesting. We're learning about the oldest house now. Stable. Shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, uh, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters Interesting. on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated classified top secret operation. Duh. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation and resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. Darling seems kind of nervous. Okay, so we're through here. I have candidate program. Hmm. 
Okay, so this is the right way. I just can't go through here until I have the level six. Okay. All right. So, Emily. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the Hiss signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? Are you talking to yourself, love? Speech analysis. I understand the Hiss be forced... It has to be a force of vibration and resonance, and perhaps their in, um, incantation, which is now agreed upon the term for their vocalization, is an effort to express the resonating using human vocal cords of speech. Would there be a difference if the incantation was recited in a different language? The most common words are, is want. Interestingly, the usage of the word you is attributed to you want to listen you want this to be true you must want these waves to drag you away are we the you the hiss is referring to does the hiss believe humanity possibly all non-hiss life want to join it to be consumed by it is this its goals yes <laughs> emphatically the second most word is through and time is it possible they're stating that once they have arrived here or the incantation of its age Okay, and what about this one? Linguistic ability. Researchers were sent to transcribe the incursive chant repeated by the Hiss entities. Interesting, in the interest of safety, this is done with a non-aggressive floating Hiss entity. However, the distinction between this repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent Hiss has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeating its string of words? Is this how the Hiss corrupts its individuals? Does the chant produce... A physical effect? Is this a message, an incantation? So, the food, the hiss, do some weird repetitive speech. It's weird. And vice is involved somehow, so. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Her inner voice. Oh, am I too late? So excited. How is he? She is, uh,. I need to Poker know. face now. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. All right, he's here. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. I mean, he was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. Of course you do. More in control, more present. I, I want to know about Vice on the wall. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. He's my brother, though. I'm not gonna be careful, because he's my brother. I mean, there was a lot of dead bodies. So... Oh, my God. She had to write everything in her what is it? gibberish code. Fucking Marshall. CIA spy shit. God. What? Polaris just had me pick up something. Real quick. Where's... Oh, he's right there. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places. Like bad pennies. Not another collectible. The to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. I feel very. Be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation. That sounds ominous. I don't want to do another. I don't want more collectibles. The bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but. Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry. You just don't know where. <sighs> Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have blown back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Put in the token and enjoy the ride. All right. 
I have to go. Me I too. Guess... You're not the only one who's busy, you know. I guess we're gonna do that. Jukebox token jukebox tokens to be constructed with the control points earned through the board stuff expeditions to defeating elite enemies. Okay. Use the token on the jukebox. How are you? You still have stuff for me? I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway. I was like, point. I don't care. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, and Stone. Thompson. They're probably all dead. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. Nope, you they're see, probably they dead. for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. Uh-huh. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Hey, watch yourself out there. Okay. Where do you say it was? Was the jukebox? Did you hear that the his prisoner they captured is the director of Bravo? This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau of Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the okay. incident in April. Case number two one HQ. I mean, obviously, it's not the jukebox. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. Well, he's talking about it. Agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. Sex. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least Total we sex. found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses they back. They were with banging. Its I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Is it this one? I mean, I haven't been in here yet. I have, once again, I have music muted. Aha. Really? All right, we're back. Now, I'm cutting, I cut out everything that happened in the jukebox. Because nothing actually happened in the jukebox. It was a challenge that I tried and tried and tried again until I kept, until the time ran out. I did have stuff I was talking about during that, and I'm just going to repeat it because it still needs to be said. At least I think so. Because... I don't feel like challenge these 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 challenge scenarios are necessary. You know these these all like I I I'm 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 good with side quests as much as the next person. They're cool. But these extra expeditions, these these tokens, the jukebox stuff, the um board countermeasures they're cool and are great for some people but they're not for me i firmly believe that challenges and extra tidbits such as like that are game padding you can argue that well if you do these things you get better stuff so it helps you later on in the game but that's you just basically designing your game around the concept it's not it shouldn't be required to have all these things to go after the final thing or to make life easier. You should just get the stuff. I mean, you can call me a filthy casual if you want or stuff like that, but the extra challenges that and stuff and microtransactions and stuff like that, they're all lumped in the same box for me. 
if you make it part of a quest and make it kind of interesting, which is what it's trying to do, then I'm game for it. But it's not necessary, and I'm not a big fan of grinding. I like achieving things and continuing the story and achieving more things and continuing more story, and that's good enough for me. So that's my stance on the whole challenges, extra collectibles, stuff like that. Make it interesting, finding these altered items, learning about the game. But if it's to the point where you're no longer balancing difficulty and you're just bashing your head against the wall, I don't need to be frustrated. I'm frustrated enough when I'm not playing video games. I don't need more stress while I'm playing video games. Now that that entirely controversial topic was summed up into a couple sentences and a kind of a rant, let's get back to trying to talk to Dylan. The real reason Jesse's here. Jesse's not here to complete challenges or make herself better. She's just here to find Dylan. And if this is our character, then why are we trying to pretend to be somebody else? Hi, Ezza. And why can't I use my powers on the executive floor? Can someone, someone tell me that one too? Oh, Ezza's deciding she wants to play. Hi, B. Hey, hon. You gonna, you gonna help me calm down? Did you hear how annoyed I was getting? All right, my camera screwed up. Hold on. I might need a controller. <laughs> Cat break. I think Az is less than impressed that I'm not really cuddling her. That's where I'm going. Yes. You are a worm through time. The thunder's song distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror of inverted is made right. Leave your inside the front door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been in there. You want this to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Let's see if we can bring him out. You are a worm through time. Shit. The thunder's song distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, my Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. That's not good. Always a good sign. No, it's not. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. His Trench lips aren't and moving. Made sure of that. Or barely. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you stop that? Please. What the fuck? <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. No, you don't. They sound good. They make me feel good. What the fuck? Don't you want to say them too? No. no. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only child! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange uh, peel! Shit! Shit! Mesa. He can see you! This is not safe! We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. <sighs> in ordinary. Mesa. In the desert. Through the door opened up by the camera. slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. Oh no. Polaris never helped or Dylan or Dylan or she never helped. 
You build, you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... Stop. They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. I... And now the projector's here. Pioneer Warriors of Tomb, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I don't want to, like, accidentally cancel the cutscene while I fight with my cat. I welcomed the hiss. Ugh. I let it in to get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. That's not you obvious. You are a puppet. <laughs> You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, than maybe, than maybe that will stop the hiss. In your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the stop. Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. <sighs> I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. As is staring at my headset okay, like Dylan. nobody's business. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. I'm gonna put you, you on the me. ground, Curry butt. We can end this. You are a run through time. Happiness comes with white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. You will mirror the inverted of your red. Okay, we're the going. Inside by the door, push the fingers through the surface into the light. You lost. So it's creepy. Too bad all that stuff with the ranger's photo. I think you voluntarily entered captivity. I just hope that anyway. She doesn't know what she's talking about. All right, let's fast travel to containment. Well, at least we know how to get there now. Go, go through the gates, go through the gates. That's how I like dealing with them, just throwing them around. Oh shit, shield! Did I shield? I'm not sure if I shielded. Jerks. I keep hitting, because Q and Tab are right next to each other, I keep fat fingering the both of them. Thus, tabbing when I should be shielding. Which is half my problem. I'm well aware. Alright. Pop this lock. Oh, hi! That was kind of funny. Self-reflection. Aw oh, man, was this just another... Hold on. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Actually, we should do is the mannequins. The synchronicity lab. Well, if it's not on this floor, we're not dealing with it. Where is Langston's Runaways compared to compared to where we're going? Yeah, we're on our way. Cool. Two bats, one bullet. Peace 
and P7. Who's P7? Who's P7, hotline guy? You can all have all the health regeneration you want. I'll still be able to take yo. And try to pull him out. He can't hit me from here. Oh boy. I done screwed this up, didn't I? Shit, wrong side. Shield, go, go, go. Go back through, go back through, come on. Come on, go back through, go back through, come on. There we go. It's like, I can't do anything until I get the health guy, but... Negates the whole health thing. I figured out. He doesn't have to keep on it. There we go. Got him. guy. Where is the blue? Oh, I guess that's it. Prime candidate program. I didn't actually need to do that. There's the mannequin. So fucking creepy. God, the only thing creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. Okay. that. Frightful supplement. Alice Wake, Mr. A. Wake's wife, was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma from in the form of redacted memory loss. She is later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she has been trapped in a threshold during its manifestation. Ah! Notable individuals still missing after Bright Falls event are FBI Nightingale, McDick himself, Dr. Emil Hartman. Oh, so the shrink, the FBI agent, referred to the creator's dilemma and file RE Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of a suggestive reality stemming from Mr. Wake overlapping our own. Wake has been flagged as a perpetual, as a potential paranatural utilitarian prime candidate program 
In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart, a suspected minor uh, para para utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. A monitoring situation was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of Future Inactivity. That is an Alan Wake thing. Alright, so where is our mannequin? So we've now found two, at least two we've recognized of Alan Wake's Alan Wakiness. So all the mannequins are on this floor. Can I? What am I supposed to do? Oh. I just have to wander around and find the right one. New bureau policy. No more mannequins. I I'll agree with that one. Alright, we'll return that quest after we're do done doing what we're doing. Because we're heading this way. Wait, P7. They mentioned P7. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. There's so much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. And the boy. Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy. So he was looking much for us. Potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here, and, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. Uh huh. There was an incident. Yes. They realized it wasn't done. Hey, the YouTube apology video chair. I'm kidding. Well, what happened? We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. This is a force. Dylan has so much. He's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. Oh, I hate that line. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. I officially don't like Darling because I just hate... Boys will be boys is never an excuse for anything. Like... Man, these it's last couple accident. episodes have showed how annoyed I get. Awkward. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. <sighs> Batshit crazy. What is that? I'm gonna zoom and try to figure out what that game is on that screen. And then we're gonna make a note. Victim autopsy. Blunt force trauma to the head and neck. Abdominal reason. So he just got the crap kicked out of him. Massage. All right, uh, P7. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Candidate P7 outfit. 
all of the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they time. just stood by and watched me. Wow. They've been tracking all of her movements. These guys are scum. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. <gasps> they have her therapy and sessions? Other kids as well. New low much. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in deeper into it, like it oh. shifted. What are they playing with? We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. The dump is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes. But that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm, no. So she's basically saying that Those Jesse has an imagination. Time, I suppose. Has an but imagination? We did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. She's trying to maybe. find a rational explanation for what... Um, do you remember? At parties? What Jesse barbecues? was thinking? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Wow. Did that make you uncomfortable? No. That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Wow. Nothing. The slide projector let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? She's basically saying she's crazy. You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world. You know, like Mario 64? Escaping and finding adventure there? Come on. Away from your parents. I don't... I don't think so. I... Yeah. There we go. Need a friend. I don't know if what I was saying made sense. But, yeah, the shrink was trying to get her to understand what Jesse was talking about. And that was, you know, what happened in Ordinary. The event that they went into. They went out into a threshold crest. And they got to learn stuff. But you try to tell that to a normal person and think you're crazy. Um, I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Had a collar and everything. The fuck? I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. And that happens a lot, like, in, in real, real stuff. Like, you can go through stuff. And people think you're crazy because you know, that couldn't have happened. You're just totally making it up. And that's how people don't deal with trauma. <laughs> I could I could vent about that forever. But we're not going to because we're trying to play a video game and have fun. So shipping manifest. Hmm, okay. But there's definitely some deep deep thought topic that I kind of wouldn't mind having. Alright, so how do we get... I guess we're taking the elevator? Oh shit! That jerk! Dylan and I were both I'm not okay with that. Experiments. Into the red light district. One thing I enjoy about those creepy, um, how'd I miss? The 
about the creepy floaty dude is that they're so easy to just gank. Oh, hi, friend. You and I are going to be the bestest friends. Place is connected to the subway? We're going back home. Of course we are. What? Started there and it's never gone away. We're going to New York City? I mean, okay. This game has hidden locations, too. Damn, I wonder how many I've missed. Oh, the typewriter. Wait. Ellen Week! More Ellen Week! This page discovered... This page was discovered in an incident of the Ocean View Motel and Casino. It was linked to the investigating sector. 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 Never say it like that. The page has been pushed into the motel's corridor under the door with some sort of spiral redacted. For ten years, I've tried to write my escape, only sinking deeper. Used to know where the fiction ends and the reality begins. Here, they are all the same. It's a hideous, hideous trap. My every thought made real. Fear, desire. How can I even know for sure if I've escaped or not just into my own fantasy? Of the thought alone would drive you mad. Bright Falls, Haunting, Alan Wake. We're finding all the Alan Wake stuff! <sighs> that makes me happy. Okay. Well, there's a door we can go through. Uh, there's got to be something to do with this Mooney stuff later. Something I've missed. Let me know down in the comments below if I've missed the Mooney stuff. Charging. There we go. That spell is still recharging. Okay. Well, we don't want to go down there, do we? Access Ordney's AWE by rotating the turntable. Okay, so there's got to be some switches somewhere. 
There's got to be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Don't worry, love. We're going to look for it. Okay, looks like there's a room up there. Oh. Gotta find a way to it. Bridge operator. Got it. Had to avoid the scary thing. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. I'm getting there, love. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Is she gonna do that repeating thing where she repeats herself until I go do it? Because guess what? I'm not moving very quickly. There's mold in this hall. Unlock that. Unlock this. More talk about teeth? Ew. I don't even want to read it because it's about teeth. Alright, uh, one real quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. I want to see if we've gotten anything cool. Yeah, we do. There we go. Okay. Cool. Let's button it. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it. What's blocking? Oh, it's that moon shit. <sighs> Drop there. Right. That moony mole crap. There we go. Mom, what are you still playing? Continue toward the ordinary AWE. I mean, actually, I can't make that promise because, you know, we're playing a video game. I would like to note that I still have my gun at the ready, so combat is going to happen. Told you. Let's just take a chill. Nope. Am I going to play in a helicopter? Blatant curiosity. opening this door. I guess. Hey, you stop. In the elevator.
Sniper's too? You're kidding me, right? I don't like the reception I'm getting out of this elevator. fine. Everything is perfect. Airplane evacuation order? Airplane in question has been brought to the private airfield in the town of Cincinnati. Something Cincinnati. Hmm. I'm assuming that might be the chopper. No, it said airplane. Airplane and chopper, two very different things. So I guess this is where we're going. Checking to make sure. Oh shit. It's like, hi. Eight or, oh, okay. The first slide was in a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on the shelf. Lots and lots of dolls. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played. Oh, this is us. Oops. Yeah, this is us. I went to school with Neil, some kids, nosebleed Neil. It was me and he had asthma and his gang bullied him. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me? Get Words. Alright. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Is following this fish around the room. Wait, was there anything else to that? You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. I don't know if I should be listening to this or not. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, this, please watch this. Is this Dylan? Maybe 2 a.m. But we're still a family show. I, I'm sorry. It's just my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town huh. remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not the sure. Fuck? The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Hor Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces. But we know the truth. A mass abduction. As predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's Oh, bullshit. God. I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. I won't be, though. Bye! Ordinary summary. AWE accord, accord, yeah, town discovered by local children at a dump site. Okay, multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the appearance of the town's population. Wow. Siblings, 
us were playing in a local dump. Uh, the team led by Trench and Darling themselves arrived on, arrived on the September 14th. They found the Faden children who led them to the slide projector. Jesse escaped. Well, I mean, we know that because we're Jesse. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world. I have a world. box stuck on my butt. Sorry, darling, but I want to find out what this is. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There were a lot more of them. More kids from the town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and ran as fast as he could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us, but Neil showed up. Neil looking like a dog. Like a melted dog. But I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. He liked being a dog. A dog with a collar? Didn't we read something about that? The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I ha helped her immediately. She promised to help. Jesse said we could call her Polaris. It was because she was doing stars at school. So Jesse gave her the name. In the form of altered okay. world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life. Yeah, we've already gone Popular through all culture, this already, darling. Urban legends. Is this just reminding us for something we need to pay attention influencing to? influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our kind of want to shoot him. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point? I feel just like just he's just the evil, bad guy. A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or do I try? Uh-huh. I don't like them. Definitely say I am not a darling fan. <laughs> Have a friend. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. Formerly the questions P6. asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. How did he get Are you ready, Dylan? Here. Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To hmm. tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell I got down here. In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Poor Dylan. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. 18. 21, 24, 27, 30. How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this Man, what do they do the to this poor kid? Well, you dreamed of doing I hate this, this. Scared, stupid little girl. Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something 
like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Wow. Hey, hey, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... So, Carla pissed him off. Which, like, it's fair. If you have no calendar, how are you supposed to know the date? I mean, I get he's probably psychic or something, but... You know. So this corridor is leading all the way to ordinary? I know that's a rhetorical question. Because, obviously. This old house shit's weird. The second slide was a meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack... And a phone line. It smelled like flat. The sm it smelled like flowers were there. It's powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. I didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything melted away, and then we'd come out. Everything had melted around the projector. That's Jesse. Neil was really into it. We found out he had been coming more and more on his own. Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector and his goons took it. We thought Neil had been lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide but that's not what happened. Yikes. Sounds like this ordinary thing just kind of... See what they have on ordinary. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump the hell? I don't want to go down there, but... I like how I... I'm not breaking the stone anymore like I was. That was kind of half the fun. Why is the house red? I mean, there's nothing in the house, but... here. There's more mail tubes. Hmm. Give okay, different incidents where stuff happened, I guess? Fuck! Have seen this one coming? Wait, get away, get away! Alright, we're away. We'll have better access to the combat now. I'll destroy my own town. guys in the armor, man. They're, they're no fun. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Weapons mods full. Alright, one sec. I destroyed the town. I'm a monster. mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle. Another Thomas Zane poem? Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Zane. What? 
I don't know, madam. The filmmaker? It suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. God, I hate the psychiatrist. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? No. Okay. Yeah, um, it's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I, hate I this think chick. I lost. Mm -mm. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. <gasps> no! The psychiatrist, no. bitch! Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You were referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Pilacus. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a As dream a I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. This is when as Polaris returns. So the now she's not feeling this crazy. In your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No. Oh. It wasn't an accident. There Polaris? was no industrial accident. And what Polaris did, Pol didn't did Polaris, Polaris do it? She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No. It was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Hmm. Agents from. I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They all Interesting. find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse. You know we can't let you go until you're well. She's in a mental and institution. By understanding what's real and what's imagined. She's in a mental institution. They must think she's having a psychotic break or something. Another ordinary supplement. Details are largely based on interviews with Dylan and obtained therapy sessions just for sessions from Jesse. Um DF claims that the eight slides, but Jesse says there are nine. The Bureau found one for the remaining six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse believes to believe to be an individual responsible for burning the slides. Oh, so Jesse burned the slides. Okay. Darling has ordered the entire entirety of ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for investigation. We're gonna keep going. So we're not actually going to ordinary. They brought ordinary back to the old steps. And that's the dump site. Move the whole landfill here in the middle of New York. And nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. The ordinary dump site was effective. All work stop immediately. And all stuff moving to the redacted department. Cool. Well. Figured there'd be more combat.
on discount, Tomasi. We should check that lab. Hold on, there's something over here. Album cover. Greatest hits. <gasps> the Asgard! Ah! I was nine or something when I found Dad's old God's album. Huge fan. Jesse and I have something in common. We both love fucking Asgard, aka poets. Because they are the coolest. Personal mods. Over here. Collect. Check out the side lab. This is where Darling's been hiding. The walls are very his color. Sepia gold yellow ick. Alright, let's do it. I feel like I'm gonna hate this. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... Huh. I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional yep. research. That's where we go next. Creepy bastard. Alright. And that's where we're going to call it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I am, despite all the frustration I've stated over this entire video and the video before, Control is an enjoyable game and I am enjoying it. Um, so yeah. We'll be back next time. I love you all very, very much. Appreciate you. All the same.